So now that we've learned how to create a new carbon instance and set a date that we want to use as a carbon object, we're going to go ahead and dive into formatting, which is probably what you're going to use the most since you're going to be outputting dates to a user uh, or doing something else with them. So let's create a new carbon object here. I'm going to go ahead and pass in a date for so for the sake of this, we'll just say minus two days. So if we want to format this in a particular way, we can use a variety of methods that exist within Carbon to do this. And there are a lot of them. We'll take a brief look at some of them, but you can go ahead and check out the Carbon documentation if you need to know more. Uh, and lastly, we're going to look at a very, very helpful method, which is extremely popular, which is a human readable date. And that will look something like two days ago or five weeks ago or one year ago, something like that. So to start with, then let's take a look at something like uh, a date string. So for this, we can go ahead and echo these out because they're a string. We don't need to do a var dump on them. So we're going to say C and then we're going to use a method on this new object we've created. So for example, we could say to date string. All that's going to do is it's going to take the date that we saw earlier in that carbon object and it's going to uh, give us back a date string. So let's take a look at the result of this and you can see we've got a date string there. So a nicely formatted date string as we would expect. So we have other methods. So for example, let's think of an interesting one. Well, we could say to time string as well. So we can go ahead and grab the time like so. Or we can go ahead and say to date time string, which will give us a formatted uh, time and date like so. So there are others. So there are like very, very specific dates. So for example, to RSS string, that will look like that. We also have things like to atom string. So something like that. So there are a variety of ways we can output this depending on our needs. Now, more uh, useful if you want to specify some kind of global structure to the dates that you output, you can just use the format method. And this is going to take one argument, which is going to be the format in the style of PHP's date formatting of how you want to output. So for example, if we wanted to output the date, we could use D M Y, and that's going to go ahead and take the date that we have, and it's going to output in the format we specify. And if you are struggling to uh, work out how we output these in a specific format like this, you can go ahead and read up on the PHP manual exactly uh, which characters are available for you. So you can format the date pretty much how you want. So let's go ahead and just have a look at this. So we see 12th of, 8, 12th of April, 2015. So there are obviously unlimited uh, ways you can go ahead and output dates in this. And this really helps because what we can do is somewhere in our application, we can specify the uh, date string. So just as a very rough example, we could say date format, and we could just paste that in there. And then we could go ahead and pass that into it. So this will be some kind of property on your object maybe, or just some global setting somewhere. And we can just pass this in to here and it works in exactly the same way. So uh, probably um, one of the more useful options or methods to output in terms of a human readable date is diff for humans. So let's just get rid of this variable we created a minute ago. So diff for humans will be the difference between the current date and the date that we've specified here. So in this case, we know that this is going to say something like two days ago. But if we go ahead and look at this, you can see two days ago. If we were to have posted something, say, a couple of hours ago, we could say minus two hours. Go ahead and refresh. And that's two hours ago. This time here, or this date and time here, will obviously come from your database somewhere if you're posting something that stores a date. So you could uh, wrap that within this carbon object and then go ahead and output it appropriately. 
So that's just to look at how we can format dates, which again is really, really useful and handy to know. And this just allows us to uh, format things in the way we want, output them to users or store them somewhere. 